Right now, take a live look downtown in Nashville, where we are getting new information on a local hotel aggressively targeting visitors using their own Wi-Fi networks, forcing the guests to shut them down and pay for their, their own pricey service. Now, last October, the FCC fined the Marriott Gaylord Opryland $600,000 for cutting off convention users, sniffing out personal hotspots using network scanners, and then making people pay, get this, in some cases, up to $1,000 to use Marriott's Wi-Fi. Now, hotels across the country are petitioning the FCC to allow them to block personal hotspots again, claiming they interfere with the hotel's own Wi-Fi posing a significant security risk, they say. Both Google and Microsoft have filed objections, though, arguing that allowing hotels to block guest internet access hurts competition and development of new technologies. Right now, Music City is on track to see record-breaking crowds this holiday season. Hotels telling uh, Fox 17 that nearly every room is already booked with people from all over the world planning to pack the streets for Nashville's New Year's Eve bash on Broadway. Last year, more than 85,000 people welcomed the New Year downtown. Next year, the Visitors Bureau says we could top 800,000 for the first time. Somehow, we feel compelled to try to raise the bar for ourselves and certainly think we have accomplished that. An estimated 60% of the party goers on New Year's Eve come from out of town, booking more than 21,000 rooms this time last year. This year's guests have performances from Lady Annabellum, Gavin uh, DeGraw, Apache Relay, Kristen Capolino, all of that just to help close out 2014.